So now that I have my voice coming into the Evoc 20 through the sidechain, we can hear that when logic is in play, and I hold down keys, I can hear that it's vocoding. So my voice is coming in, it's being filtered, the amplitude of my voice, like as it goes up and down in volume, that's determining how the synthesizer is going to be reacting in volume as well. So let's go over here to the sidechain analysis in. I'm going to hold the keys down and I want you to listen to what happens when I turn the attack up. As you can hear, my voice becomes less distinct as I turn the attack up. That's because when I turn the attack up, since it's coming on a little bit slower, kind of like a string instrument or something like that, it's not, it's not getting all the transients of my voice. It's taking out some of the transients. That can be cool if you want to smooth something out that's got a lot of transient material. But most of the time, you're going to keep that attack fairly short. Now let's play with the release. Sounds a little creepy when we turn that release down, because then after the after the attack session, it's coming down really quickly. As it's following the amplitude of my voice, it's coming on really quickly and it's grabbing the transient material, and then it's letting go really fast. So that gives us our kind of weird, gritty, robot-like sound. Okay? Now if we hit freeze, it's essentially holding the amplitude. Wherever we hit that freeze button at, it's holding that amplitude. Okay? You can automate that, and that can make things kind of interesting. So that's how the sidechain analysis works in the Evoc 20.